I don't know this man, but I know two of his three children, his three grandchildren, and all nine great-grandchildren, my sisters and cousins. I don't know him, but when I look in his face, I know I am there, somewhere. Er kommt aus Wien in Österreich. He's from Vienna. Sein Name ist George Bondi. But no, I didn't learn German from him. I don't really know if he spoke German or Yiddish at home. He spoke five languages. He had a gift for them, like you, says my mother. Why did he leave Vienna, I ask her? The only son with five sisters? He didn't want to take care of them. Not true, says my sister Deborah, the family historian. He was avoiding induction into the army. But once in America, he joined the U.S. Army and fought with Custer. So perhaps my mother was right. My great-grandfather fighting Indians? Surely I didn't inherit those fighting genes. No one can tell me much about George. Years ago, my grandmother told me they struggled to live on his postman's salary, moving all over Manhattan, Harlem, the Lower East Side, and Hell's Kitchen. Not the upscale neighborhood of today, but the down-and-out battleground of the 1900s. I know George loved dogs and brought home strays he found en route. One day, when he came home with yet another, my great-grandmother said, Enough already with the animals. Either he goes or I go. The stories are fading. My mother doesn't remember the dog story, but she can tell me about George's failed venture as a chicken farmer in California. There wasn't enough money for train fare back to New York, so my great-uncle Ben, age 15, raised the money playing violin on the vaudeville circuit. Ben, I know. I danced to his violin. That's a story I can touch. But George, this is all. Fragments of stories and two photos I keep searching for images of myself. <laughs>